Tire change for beginners. Why is it for beginners? Because I'm blindfolded. So I go really slow. So it's a fun video. Hopefully you enjoy it right now. So you'll find it. I'm not going to tell you anything. That's what Donnie. That that was Donnie's thing. Well, you passed it. You passed it. it you were you were you weren't going to tell me nothing. I mean, uh, it'll be nice. Okay, so that was Donnie's thing. Yeah, <clears throat> I ain't going to tell you nothing. Okay, so now, because remember, I did the uh, I put the rear wheel on, and I. Did oh yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's what started this. Yes. You're right. I, I I put the rear wheel on without my because I, I was I was with Amanda and I was like I bet I could do this blindfolded and so. This was up in Utah, and yeah. he, he sent a video. <clears throat> so I find it's easier to keep my eyes just closed um, rather than even keep them open, which is a weird thing. Okay, so now I have the uh, um, the cap off. I thought you weren't going to tell me anything. I mean, like, yeah, okay. They, yeah. All right. So Assistance. now this thing probably doesn't have very much air in it. Now my tool has one side is flat and one side has little teeth to get out yeah. the core. So I'm going to take the core out. Now one thing I'm going to do a little bit different is I'm going to let all the air out. And I'm going to put the core back in so I don't have to try to find the core mm, later. Smart. Yeah. So I've done, you know, we do this sometimes, but I prefer just to leave the core out when I'm doing them regular. But I'm going to put the core in and that way it's done. There's no losing it. Okay. So now Okay, there's my rim lock. I'm going to start about over here and knock it off the beat. There you go. Okay, okay no, I, I think my mask thing is falling down a little bit. Okay, we're going to up here in the fattest, tallest part of my head. You got it fixed? Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, here we go. We've got the Dirt Bike TV 2 yeah. sticker. That's for the guy behind the camera. Exactly. Okay, so all off one side. Now, this is a little bit tough because I don't want to slam... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, there's our valve stem, so that means our rim lock is right there. So I'm going to go like right here. Got my spoon that way. So I can feel. And, and of course, I've done a lot of tires over the years, right? Yeah. Okay, so now, obviously, doing something like how, it, when you do something like this, it, you realize. You, and you, I, I feel like you take a real good um, accountability or uh, appreciation for what you're blessed with. Okay, so r right in here is the rim lock. There's a valve stem. Rim lock's right there. Oh, that's the worst deal. I mean, I'll pick it up. All right, all right, all right. So the rim lock nut came <coughs> off. All right. So I am going to get a little cheater help here. I, I could have got, I guess, got down there. and So that means it, cause, because I wasn't able to see, I backed it off a little further than I normally would. Okay, so now, and so it fell off. Okay, so I'm going to get about this far away for my first bite. Okay, and I'm going to do that like that. Okay, so one down. Now, this is one of our favorite tires, by the way, off-road or on the track. 14 is taking it over, MX-14. Okay. Okay. One, two. There so you the, go. the key on this is I think we have to keep our video going the whole time or... People, People are going to think it's, yeah, it's not legit or something. Well, our camera guy can't be coughing during a YouTube video. Yeah. Okay. Then they know it's real. Okay. Okay. And 18-inch tires are a lot easier. No doubt about it, right? Okay, wait. I got too far. So I need to be about there. Now, there. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, Good. rim lock right there. I'm going to go about right here. Pick up a little bit. Put it under the sprocket. All right. It's okay. <coughs> Okay, 
stiff tire. Yeah. yeah. There you go. 14 is stiffer. Yeah. This is a 12. Okay. So right here. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Boom. Okay, now push it off with my buddy. Valve stem is right there. So rim lock is right there. Okay. Push the tire all the way off. Tube's off. Pull this off. Put sprocket down. Just like that. Okay. Nice job. Okay. Now I'm going to feel here. Yeah. We have a band. Yes. And the band is okay. Feels like it. I mean, you, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. This is a directional tire that you've, just, that you've decided right. to use here. Right. Because I figured this one's pretty obvious to tell. I think this is what we did last time. Yeah. So now, okay, I got my tube here. I'm not going to uh, do a different tire. We're just going to put the same tire back on. That was kind of the... Okay. Tire tool. Now, let's see what we got here. I want to let a little air out of the tire, believe it or not, for install. It's a little too much. So here it coming out. So it's a good Dunlop tube. Okay, and this valve stem tool. Oh, before I forget, we gotta have a commercial, right? Yeah. Email me on the tire stand. You can, if you want the drawings to make your own tire stand with your uncle, brother, welder, buddy. Okay. And also, click on our Rocky Mountain link in the description if you want to purchase any parts for a good deal. Uh, it helps us out for sure. And uh, same thing with any gear. We have some gear options that you can email me for any other links that you're questioning. Okay. Uh, valve stem nut. Tire paste. We use Pro Buds. We have that link is in our tire stand drawings and email if you, if you send us. Now, when I'm getting tire paste, I want to get it on this and on the inside. Okay, I'm going to get it on both sides. Okay, now our tire's actually in the right direction right now. So it'll go like that. So now we got our this yeah, here. Let's thread the needle here. Okay. To figure out where it is. I can do that. So first I just have to find the rim lock. Because I know there's a rim lock, and I know from the rim lock it's about Rim lock's there. It's about four or five spokes. There it is. Let's go on. So, there you go. And then I drop this out of my mouth there. Uh, probably not the most sanitary way, but yeah. Okay. I was just talking about the other day when I let the air out of a tire, especially like an older one, and that air, mm, the smell so of that air. So stale. Yeah, I like it. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's smelly sometimes though. And there's lots of smells I don't like. But like my wife has some fancy candle or whatever, essential oil. But I don't mind the smell of stagnant old air in a tube. <laughs> it smells like dirt bikes. Okay, like when people, okay, feel that. So I got the rim lock in, the tube is in. Okay, so now I'm keeping my body. Again, I think I've scooted a little ways away from my workstation. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. I'm, I'm, I am finding it's easier to keep my eyes closed. Yeah. It's, it's kind of distracting when I open them and just see, see nothing. Yeah, yeah. It just seems like it's more difficult because I see a little bit of light around. Yeah, yeah and it, it's just kind of distracting. Okay. So I'm keeping my body rested. My left hand, obviously, still doing the same procedure I always do. I felt the tire fall over here, fighting me. Okay. Okay, so we're good there. Okay. Okay. He doesn't know how big this bath, this last bite is, so I can tell. It's small. It's very small. And, and see if I was... You're, if you had seen it, your previous bite would have been a little bit bigger to get this on. Or smaller to leave me... Or, see, or smaller to leave you. Yeah. Okay. But... Got it. You got it. Okay, so now there's the valve stem, rim lock. It's good. We want to put this, push the tire all the way over. Make sure tube is seated really well. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to feel on the back side of the valve stem. It's not stuck. I can feel with my finger on the back side and rim lock is moving nice and good and tube is there. So now I'm going to go valve stem, rim lock. I'm going to go about here. <laughs> okay. You're getting it. Yeah. I should have maybe had a set plan about where they're going to be. Okay. Um, bead buddy, really helpful tool. I sent one of these to Joel. He didn't have one. He wasn't using one. So I'm like, you got to have one. Okay. Now, all right. I think I feel like I'm moving all over more. I think, I think you're in your head now at this point. Okay. This thing's kind of falling. I need a new string. Stronger. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then. Valve stem right there. Okay. There you go. I'm pushing the valve stem in with my finger. And then I got rim lock next. Like that. Okay. Just like that. Now, maybe one more, and then I'm going to come over here and knock it off the bead a little bit. Okay, it's, it's feeling pretty good. You want to feel that you got this spoon going the right way. And I, my thigh, and this is why that's important on this tire stand when we build them, it's nice to have your foot down on here like this. I, I really like that. Okay, um, and then my, th my thigh pushes up so I can scoot it under here and I might be able to get last bite. Yeah. Okay. That's out. That's out. Okay. Then that. Nice. That was a good grab. <laughs> well, I know where that thing is. I'm just gonna find your stem here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now. Not hopping, but. Oh, it's I, got it right here. I think the air is off is the issue we may be dealing with right now. But I think we got enough in there. Yeah. As as, uh, I turned it off so the compressor wouldn't kick on. Oh, nice, nice. But, okay, we're all well. the way solid. Now I'm going to flip it over and check the other side. And then we'll tighten rim lock. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to set pressure. We're just going to leave a bunch in there. Warmer. <laughs> Warm. Oh no! <laughs> I'm beating up this colder. <laughs> okay, so now bead is all the way on. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if you're not following Joel Built Bind, he has a YouTube and an Instagram. We'll have his links in the description, right, Spence? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you make sure to do that yes. when you post the video. I knew where this wrench was a little while ago. Okay, that's the cap. You're, you're cold right now. Shh. There we go. And this has an 8 and a 10 on it, this wrench. Because we don't... Hey, I got it right the first time. Okay, nice get this good and snug. How long are we at? We're at 15 right now. So, yeah. 15. I told you to be like 15. Okay. Cap. Cap on. We're not going to ride this wheel for a while, so we're okay with setting pressure. J just leave it, yeah. yeah. We'll just leave it because this is kind of a backup wheel for when we go off-roading, we'll take it with us when we go for my dunes. For the dunes, like at Green River or, yeah. or in uh, Hurricane. Yep. Is that it? That's about it. Okay. Good job. Let me pull this off. Woo! <laughs> You're back! So it's kind of a weird, obviously a very weird feeling, uh, but uh, cool to accomplish, right? Yeah. Good job. Can you do a tire blindfold? You think you could do it? No, <laughs> no. I, I would need to practice for quite a bit to be able to get it to that point. Okay. Well, I've had plenty of practice. Yeah, you have. Uh, that's only the second one I've ever done blindfolded. I think I'll have to watch that old video on Instagram if we did it with. I don't know what it was. I think it was one of these. Hit the check. I think it was an MX12. So anyway, really fun. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, don't say anything nasty. Just go to someone else's channel and do that if you uh, don't like it. Um, I, did we even scratch the rim? It's hard to tell with these. There's, there's a little, because that, that's from rocks and stuff. That's rocks me. and spinning. 
Um, yeah. So, but I, I felt pretty good. I don't feel like I got any. I, I really, I, here's the thing. You probably did better than a normal dude changing his tires. <laughs> okay. so. All right. And, uh, I mean, that was fun. So yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, feel free to uh, email us for any um, tech questions or things like that, and especially on the tire stand and any links you're looking for. We'll see you later, hopefully, on the tracker trail soon. Hey, Dirt Bike TV here. Today, we're going to be talking about why we use the Onyx Off-Road app. The Onyx Off-Road app offers offline maps, which is one of the things we use every single time we go trail riding. All the trail riding we do is off the grid, which means no cell phone signal. So we're able to use the Onyx Off-Road app on our phones and to be able to not get lost and have a ride mapped out beforehand via their desktop version. And I'm able to draw out lines on the computer and plan a coherent loop that everybody can have fun on. Onyx Off-Road also offers open dates and public land information for those who are looking to plan out their ride best. The Elite version even has ownership information and property boundaries. The features on the Onyx Off-Road app are pretty much endless. You can import old KML and GPX files and you can even see fire information in real time as well as in-depth weather analysis. Try Onyx Off-Road today by heading over to the link in our link tree or going over to onyxoffroad.com and using the code DBTV1 for a 20% discount. See you out on the trail.